Hello, this is a TV Paint Animation uh, Video Tutorials Lesson 1 Part F of Lesson 1. Uh, so it's just an introduction video. Um, okay, so we, last time we were looking in the preferences panel in the general area. We're going to move it to the uh, display tab quickly. Um, now, if you're looking in your manual on page, let's have a look, page 1 13, you'll see the display tab, it, it, it lifts. Uh, brushes and it doesn't list the layer icons. I don't know what that's about. So uh, always show show by default. I don't know. Um, brush display is that you can hide a tools preview. So your brushes, if you've got a, a computer that's struggling a little bit displaying very large uh, brushes or animated brushes, um, then you can uh, hide that and it just turns into a cursor. So let's move on from the display panel to the interface panel. On the interface, you you can customize your interface. So you can select any part of the interface, for instance, from all these different uh, uh, options, and then you can go and recolor it by click on there and choose a new color. This button, uh, click this to select a new color for the selected button type. Once clicked, select any color from the current uh, currently on screen. So we can go and select that to be anything. Go hover over that. We can change it to orange, for instance. Now, under that, we've got um, this gradient here. It doesn't say gradient, but that's what it's doing. It's a gradient of the interface we're looking at. So, um, let's go back to uh, default. Okay, that's my default one. Well, I can also go to classic. So, that's quite nice. It reminds me of uh, Lightwave. So, we go back to default. And what this does, so we've got with the color schemes, you can go and save a scheme and, scheme and load a scheme. Um, so the highlight is referring to the gradient over here or the gradient going from here to here it's running over 32 pixels so if I drop that down to zero so it's zero pixels um, nothing will change until I go and apply it so it's going to apply it so it's now flattened everything out so all these buttons are now flat they don't have any gradients over the top of them ok it was set to 32 it's knocking back to 32 you can add a border to it well, that will apply that so now I've got a border around all these and we can mirror as well. You notice that currently we've got a highlight at the top and it's sort of darker at the bottom. If we go and mirror that and apply that at the bottom, it's sort of lighter at the bottom and at the top now. Yes, yeah, it looks more sort of plasticky looking that way. And we'll set that to 16 and see what that does. And hit apply to that. Okay, so you can change the look and feel of it quite easily. Um, then underneath that we've got um, how how do you want to uh, view your cursor you've got various things to choose from there, I usually leave it uncross or even arrow um, and then um, let's go back to default let's go back to default, ok there we go and uh, then underneath that we have windows, magnet magnet's quite good when you're trying to place things so when you're trying to make these, oh, in preference panel we can't do that so we will not bother with that uh, magnet glues panels together basically so they all sort of line up like they have done down here okay and uh, windows no border would mean that currently we've I'm running my uh, computer on uh, two monitors with no border it means that you actually won't be running in a window um, it'll just stretch around the whole interface okay so then maybe you want to go and do that and then project window is always behind happy with that then under this one memory and cache quickly look at uh, the available physical memory I've got one gig of memory on this uh, laptop I'm using here and the undo is set to use 32 megabytes and my cache storage is automatic which means it's probably going to be saved to the C drive and we'll leave it at that and that sort of goes through my preference panel so back to interface you can go and create your own interface and save it and then you've got your own uh, layout how you like it to look so I really like the idea of that pretty good so however you want it to be uh, looking you can go and create it doing that and that sort of gets through the, pre the preference panel I think that will, will sort us out on that um, there's a couple of things that I'm not sure about really here this one layer icons don't know what that is um, it's not in the manual as such I'll go and ask about that and I'll have a amendment to my video at some point uh, to let you know what that is so I'll be back on that one later so that will conclude this short video that covers the end of the preference panel I think that will do won't it
Uh, oh, let's have a quick look over here. So, memory and cache. Let me just read through the memory and cache on the. Um, actually, we won't. We'll do memory and cache separate because it's quite a long page. Yeah, let's do that separately. So, back in a sec. <coughs> 